Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm gonna play Foresight with the very developer of Foresight. Hello, Jeremy. Hello. Hello. So uh, thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for playing with me, Jeremy. You taught me a lot of things. Um, yeah. Me and Jeremy are gonna play a multiplayer match in Foresight, and uh, Jeremy, I think we can start. And right. um, we will talk about the game. What has changed after the game got released and what's gonna change in the future What you didn't know guys is that Jeremy is working on uh, is pr uh, programming the game by himself It took him uh, four years to do it, right Jeremy? Initiation. Yep, how That's about right. you you tell the story of foresight to command. the to the viewers to let them understand How did you create it? I mean the story of of how I started working on the game. Exactly, and what uh, went after you started it. How did you do it? How did you get to this point when you launched it on Steam? Well, it's a very long story, you know, to, to tell over four years. <laughs> right. Um. Well, I started alone first with a few guys. Um. Most of my team initially were kind of like volunteers. Then over a period of time, um, I got a, I got myself an investor, and then and then I uh, start to push for things. So one of the first few things I got is uh, to get an artist, a lead artist, and then followed by a copywriter, a story uh, the, the the guy who wrote the story details behind Foresight. Mm -hmm. So later on, I hired more people to work on the meshes, the 3D artwork that you're looking at now. So much later, then we started to hire voice actors and put in the voices that you are hearing now. So that's roughly about it. Because for the Foresight team, there's no technical team. I mean, I'm, I'm the only guy that's uh, programming the, the mechanics of uh, Foresight. So yeah, that's about it. Tell us, tell us about your plans, your future plans for Foresight. Now, as as you can see now, right, Foresight has improved quite a bit since release. We fixed all the issues with uh, playability, and uh, you know, some people have complained with uh, key binding. You know, bindings that they are not there mm -hmm. now. Um, I did not realize that there were many other keyboard layouts, so uh, that one I must apologize for that. So once I knew about it, I immediately uh, implemented a key binding system so that you all can uh, bind your own keys based on your own keyboard layouts at your own convenience. So these are some of the things that you know, we, are, we are listening to, to, to feedback. So once we clear out all the gameplay issues, we improve the game, we streamline the game so that it's much more easier to play. Because we always talk about uh, reducing the amount of uh, micromanagement, we we want to continue to do that. There might be something that we have missed along the way. So right now, at this version, we have implemented quite a few things, including a, a fleet view, which uh, which uh, Sergey will be able to show you later. Right. So the for the view of foresight, sorry, me one second. Is the fleet view implemented now? Yes, right. once you created the fleet, right, when you select the fleet, you'll be able to see it. It shows you uh, vital information, the amount of time you require to travel from one point to another. So you can actually plan your attack with time. Instead of like, you know, you have to check where your units are. So, yeah, these are some of the things. So for the future of Foresight, right now we are going to work on the, the stats and achievements. Trading cards, which is about to be done, Whoa. as well as the the matchmaking component for the the multiplayer. I understand that uh, people are not happy with uh, the need to put in IP address and and the uh, requirement to do port forwarding. So we are trying to address all these issues one by one, as well as the AI. I know some people want to have a a more challenging AI that will also come. <laughs> but more importantly, is that we, we need people to be able to play the game. The gameplay shouldn't be hindering the game itself. So, 
that's for the immediate future of foresight so once all this is done we will move towards adding content new gameplay modes uh, such as uh, survival like you have a base like what we are like what you're seeing now you have a base you start building your defenses mm -hmm. it's a little bit like tower defense but you have a timer so you need to survive that timer to to, nice. to win the survivor yeah this is one of the few ideas that we we worked on and yeah we will continue to add more game modes if you know we have enough community feedback suggestions so that's what I see what we'll be doing in the next few months. Next few months. Nice. And you're all by yourself doing all this. That's yeah, really it's, impressive, it's fine, right, Jeremy. It's, it's really yeah. impressive. You are really dedicated to this, aren't you? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> So tell, well, tell, please tell the viewers because I'm I'm really um, enjoying how you thought about the mechanics of the game. I mean, if uh, if your ships are too far from the main fleet uh, or from the, from the officer, you cannot uh, command them anymore just because they are too far to get commands directly. You yeah, know? that's correct. Tell, tell the viewers more about uh, what you what you had in mind when you build the mechanics. I mean, it's crystal clear that the mechanics of Foresight are way different from the mechanics of other popular strategy games. And uh, Foresight is made unique by this, uh, by this mechanics. Tell them. Tell them. They must know. <laughs> well, there, there are a few um, unique... Wagon things you know mechanics there's uh, inside foresight why because we want to deliver uh, an experience that there's um uh, that's strategic you know, that, that you can actually experience uh implementation of a real world strategy now in other rts we, you will talk about things like game strategy that means um the strategy that revolve around uh game mechanics so right now I'm telling you that Foresight allows you to implement real world strategies. I'm sure you heard of better plans like a flank attack, uh, rear attack, blitz creep, lightning war. Basically, you can actually you know run the blockade. You can go behind and effectively assassinate the enemy commander. Wow. So yeah, there are quite a lot of things you can do with Foresight and. Where your ship is facing is also very important. So you might get attacked from behind and you might get really, really punished very badly for it. Uh, wait, right now the, the officer, the officer barely has any, any stats. I mean, his leadership is one, intelligence one, observation one. How can that increase? Vessel oh initiated. no because now we, ha we have been talking about it but um Vessel because initiated. your officer right you you represent that that avatar Vessel so everything initiated. is one but that's just that's just uh the character that's representing you Vessel it's not initiated. uh it's not to be used as a fleet mm -hmm. Vessel yeah so the fleet commanders themselves will have the different kind of statistics which will really affect the outcome of the game so with a higher leadership right they will make uh, decisions faster Vessel and initiating. more accurate a higher intelligence right will be able to to calculate uh, enemy forces and advise you accordingly I mean foresight has fleet commanders and fleet advisors you can they they can both belong to the same fleet and they can serve Vessel you a lot better initiating. if you don't if they're if they're done correctly Wait. Now commanders are important, but they are not superheroes. They do not gain extra HP just That's because they are like you know, someone different. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. You have a uh, fleet commander and a fleet advisor. How does That's that work initiated. together? 
Well, the fleet advisor will actually advise the fleet commander on certain issues like, you know, when you encounter an enemy, should I attack or should I retreat? Now, the, all these discussions, right, uh, will be shown in the fleet panel to you so that you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, more importantly is that the fleet commanders, right, let's start from fleet commanders. When you have fleet commanders, right, they actually relieve you of the need to, uh, you know, of your command points. Now, there's a lot of misunderstanding with the command points now because you see when you start building ships right your command start to go up like you know 3.24 4.24 and so on when you transfer all these ships to another commander the value drops what it means is that when it drops right you can build more ships and transfer all these ships to the commander as well now the commander right will have a rank like like what you see on your left hand side of the screen a captain for example so you can actually assign the uh, amount of points based on the rank so in this case right a captain can have 24 command points and since the frigate right takes about three command points you can assign up to eight frigates to a uh, captain in the fleet whoa 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 are you approaching? No, can you see me? Ah, <laughs> uh, not yet. Maybe I am, but I'm not gonna tell you. Wait, why? What? Are you trying something? Why? What happened? Don't try anything with me. I will crush you. <laughs> I'm defending the very wormhole. You are defending the wormhole? Yeah. Alright. Thank what? Are you coming? Don't come. <sighs> oh, let's see, let's see. Let's see what you have come up with. Starship You like the song? <laughs> Who is singing it? Um Holy <laughs> Oh, oh no. you came here! Nah, there's no way you can survive this. Ouch! Nice, nice. I like these green chefs. They look beautiful. Oh, dude, you were tough. Right, um, just to add, right, the multiplayer is in the process of being optimized, so it may not be uh, at the optimal speed now, but that goes gradually, so I hope you all can understand. Hmm, what happened? Bit of blind, I suppose. But guess who lost the battle? Oh no! No, no I, I just oh. lost my fate advisor. No! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run! Why would you do that? Run, run! Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> you will pay dearly for this. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh no, get what you asked for. Now we know. Wait, fleet one, fleet two. I still have a fleet one. Can you believe it? No, I just took out your, your fleet advisor only, so it shouldn't be enough. That's my fleet one. I'm going to recruit more more people. Don't recruit Paul. Ready Okay, um guys just to point out there's a link in the description for the steam page of foresight so if you want to check out more about the game you can uh, use that 
as a start. Well guys, uh, the gameplay will end here. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Also, thank you Jeremy for playing with me. It was a real pleasure. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it was a pleasure, Jeremy. And guys, make sure to check the game out on Steam. There's a link in the description just for that. So have a great day. Bye-bye. Goodbye.